A new era of deep sea exploration began with Ocean Gate's Titan submersible, a technical marvel meticulously crafted to unravel the ocean's deepest secrets. Titan was designed with a pioneering spirit and built with an innovative carbon fiber hull. The hull's carbon fiber, lightweight yet robust, promised durability against the relentless pressures of the deep. Its impressive strength-to-weight ratio and corrosion resistance made it the material of choice for this audacious project. But as captivating as this marvel may appear, a potential serpent lurked in the paradise of its creation. The same carbon fiber, hailed for its strength, hid a potential Achilles' heel. Voids and delamination silent saboteurs that could compromise the hull's strength. These could turn into chinks in the titan's armor, waiting to be exploited by the crushing pressures of the deep. This brings us to the unsung hero of quality assurance, non-destructive testing, or NDT. NDT allows us to scan the health of the materials, detect weaknesses, and ensure structural integrity without causing any damage. Ultrasonic waves echoing tales of internal flaws, X-rays painting the story of the unseen. Infrared imaging unraveling temperature anomalies. These are the invisible guardians, gatekeepers of safety and reliability. In 2019, as OceanGate was preparing for the stress tests of Titan's hull, it embarked on an extraordinary journey. Aboard its Cyclops submersible, a journalist was taken to the bottom of Puget Sound, a testament to OceanGate's groundbreaking technological prowess. This was the prelude to Titan's trials, the grand stage for its capabilities to shine. But behind the scenes, the lack of non-destructive testing cast a long shadow of uncertainty. Today, as the Titan readies for its next voyage, questions linger. Will it withstand the pressures of the deep, or will the untreated flaws wreak havoc? The missing chapters of non-destructive testing leaves us in a suspenseful cliffhanger. With the Titan's next expedition on the horizon, the essence of this tale is clear. Innovation is not just about advancing, it's about ensuring safety and integrity. As we celebrate the feats of human ingenuity, let's remember to respect the forces of nature we seek to explore. OceanGate's pioneering submersible faced rigorous stress tests, each more challenging than the last. These tests were designed to push the Titan to its limits to prepare it for the unforgiving world that awaited it thousands of meters beneath the surface. The greatest adversary the Titan would face in the abyss was the colossal pressure, thousands of times greater than at sea level. These crushing forces are merciless, always searching for the slightest weakness to exploit. Any flaw in the hull, a void, an area of delamination, could turn catastrophic in these extreme conditions. The strength of the Titan, hence, hinged heavily on the integrity of its hull, the single barrier separating the occupants from the lethal pressures outside. This is where non-destructive testing plays its pivotal role. These techniques, including ultrasonic testing and thermographic inspection, could have detected any lurking flaws in the hull without damaging it. They're akin to an in-depth health checkup for the submersible, potentially diagnosing fatal conditions before they become untreatable. Imagine the echo of ultrasonic waves indicating an internal void, a cold spot on an infrared image betraying an area of delamination. These could have been the keys to ensuring the Titan's survival in the deep, but these keys remained unturned. The Titan's missing chapters of testing cast a solemn shadow on an otherwise triumphant memory, the 2019 dive to the Puget Sound bottom. What was meant to be a testament to OceanGate's capabilities also served as a foreboding precursor to the risks that lay ahead. As we watch the Titan disappear into the blue abyss, we can't help but wonder, what's next? Will it rise triumphant against the odds, or will the undisclosed weaknesses seal its fate? The Titan sails on into the unknown, its story still unfolding. A stark reminder of the rigorous tests we must face before venturing into the unforgiving unknown. As dawn breaks on June 22, 2023, the vast expanse of the North Atlantic Ocean holds a secret. Ocean Gate's Titan, the intrepid submersible, is missing, swallowed by the depths. The journey was monumental, a descent to the Titanic's ghostly ruins, 12,000 feet below. Aboard were Ocean Gate's CEO and four passengers, each investing a staggering $250,000 in this historic adventure. As the Titan sank into the depths, 
the crew unknowingly echoed the final journey of the Titanic itself, a poignant reminder of the ocean's unpredictable power. Now, three days later, U.S. and Canadian search teams scour the frigid Atlantic waters, their hope diminishing as the Titan remains silent. The silence from the deep is punctuated by echoes of past warnings. On its maiden voyage, Titan battled a battery issue and bore external damage. Was this a foreshadowing of darker troubles? In 2019, as OceanGate prepared for stress tests of Titan's hull, they discovered structural shortcomings. The revelation posed a significant question. Was this an early symptom of a larger oversight? Experts had sounded alarm bells about Titan's safety, emphasizing the dire need for a non-destructive testing. Um, This critical procedure could have uncovered potentially fatal flaws in the carbon fiber hull, voids or delaminations that would crumble under the crushing pressures of, of the deep. Procedures exist to ensure such oversights are avoided. The Ocean Engineering Program of the U.S. Navy, the Naval Sea Systems Command, independent agencies like DNVGL, all offer stringent certification processes, exhaustive checks that leave no stone unturned. Yet the Titan held no such certifications. Despite OceanGate's assurance that Titan would meet or exceed DNVGL standards, no independent agency verified these claims. OceanGate highlighted their safety innovations, including the real-time hull health monitoring system. But without third-party validation, doubts lingered. Could these innovations hold their own against the harsh realities of the deep sea? As the sun sets on the third day of the search, the fate of Titan and its crew remains shrouded in mystery. One can't help but speculate. Did the shortcomings finally catch up with them, or is there another unseen factor at play? While the brave crew embarked on a journey of discovery, they have left behind a trail of questions that demand answers. In the unfathomable depths of the ocean, the true trial of any submersible is not merely the journey down, but surviving the immense pressure. As we speculate about Titan's fate, one possibility looms large. Implosion. Implosion and explosion. Two potent forces, equally destructive yet inherently different. An explosion results from a rapid release of energy outward, while an implosion is the reverse, a violent inward collapse often triggered by extreme pressure, a common risk in the ocean's depths. The Titan's choice of material for its hull, carbon fiber, while revered for its strength and lightness, is not without potential hazards, especially when navigating the deep sea. Carbon fiber, for all its virtues, can suddenly fail under stress, a risk amplified in the extreme pressure variations during a submersible's descent and ascent. A small flaw in the carbon fiber hull can escalate into a catastrophic tear during pressure cycling, exposing the submersible and its crew to grave danger. With limited testing of carbon fiber for deep-sea submersibles, doubts persist about its suitability for handling extreme underwater conditions. Furthermore, a heightened oxygen environment in a submersible amplifies the risk of fires, making even a seemingly insignificant spark a potential menace. While carbon fiber has proven reliable in yachts and aviation, its use in deep-sea submersibles is still contested. The Titan's hull critically lacked non-destructive testing, leaving potential voids and delaminations unchecked. Precautions could have lessened these risks. Rigorous testing, non-destructive examinations, quality control, strict safety protocols, and well-rehearsed emergency procedures could have provided an added layer of protection. But Ocean Gate's Titan embarked on its fateful journey without these safeguards, a gamble that may have led to its disappearance. As the sea continues to guard its secret, we are left speculating. Did the Titan implode under pressure? Was it a flaw in the carbon fiber hull, a sudden fire, or another unforeseen incident? Whatever the cause, the crew's adventure has turned into a somber reminder of the unforgiving power of the deep sea. The Titan, its crew, and its passengers ventured into the unknown, driven by the spirit of exploration. Today they lie in the heart of that very unknown, their fate a stark reminder of the ocean's unforgiving power. We're reminded of the balance between pushing boundaries and respecting the forces we contend with. Our thoughts are with the crew and passengers of the Titan and their families.